Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. This here's Porty's Garage. On today's episode, you're gonna notice behind me, I got the PCCM Plus that I already installed in this beauty. It's been working flawlessly, great, love it. But you know what, like all auto enthusiasts, I wanna do some upgrades and you're never done upgrading. And what I want to do today is I want to put in the wireless Apple CarPlay that I got here off of Amazon. And to, to go with that, you know, you got to have be able to charge your, your phone as well. So if I'm going wireless on the CarPlay, I'm going to go wireless on the charger as well. So one of the things that I did kind of contemplate or worry about was the, the charger just kind of flopping around in that mid shelf. So I found this product, or actually it came to me. Uh, this product, this is from Audubon Engineering out of the UK, and it's a, uh, a mid-shelf that replaces the shelf you have in there. You can see it's very OEM-like, uh, so it's not going to look out of place. It's got this hole in here. You can see it on the bottom. The Apple uh, MagSafe charger fits right in there, so you don't have any issues at all with that flopping around. And you can put your phone right in there, all safe and tidy and not flying around your car. Another neat attribute this has, on the back you can put an Apple AirTag and um, with that you know you can know where your, where your car is at all times. So uh, a, a good bonus upgrade. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to install all this and uh, I'll take you guys through my methodology on how to do that and where I'm going to put everything and let's get to it. Okay y'all, as with everything I do, I'll put some links below uh, for all the products that I have here. So I'm gonna go with the U2 Air Pro wireless adapter by AutoCast. Um, did some re research online and uh, really liked the way that that worked out. Obviously the Apple brand MagSafe charger. And then um, I, again, the Autobahn Engineering A1. Uh, this is really unique. There's for the air tag and then on the bottom you got where you're gonna put the uh, the charger So that's gonna work great um, One of the things you're gonna need to do is be able to power this MagSafe charger So I've got a cigarette lighter plug here that I'm gonna plug in and then I also have this uh, car delivery charger that is uh, It's gonna be what is 20 watts you need at least 15 watts to make sure this is gonna work well. So um, I'll show you where I'm gonna install all this stuff and then we'll start ripping the car apart and putting it together. All right, so here we are in the car. Uh, as you can see, I've got my uh, multimedia box here with the cord that we're getting rid of uh, right there in that center shelf. This is where that A1 product from Audubon Engineering is gonna go, replace all that. So next question is, where do you put all the other stuff? So we do have a cigarette lighter here. So I'm going to try to tap off the back of that to put the auxiliary uh, cigarette lighter in so that I can plug the MagSafe charger into that. Um, I'm also going to take the wireless um, CarPlay adapter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put everything back here underneath this. So let me get, come down here a little bit. So I'm going to try to pull this off and then stuff it all back under here. Now I'm going to have to do a little bit of work here that um, had I done this ahead of time, it probably wouldn't have to. But since I ran this in the mid um, shelf here, I'm going to have to take the radio out, unplug it, get it back through that hole and then plug it back in and stuff it down to the back. So a little bit more work that I'm gonna need to do on this since I've already installed it. But uh, yeah, it, it, hopefully at the end, everything's gonna come out great and then we're gonna have a nice wireless CarPlay, wireless charger and ready to rock. All right guys, let's go ahead and get this stuff unboxed here. So this is gonna be our U2 um, Air Pro Wireless by AutoCast. I'll, uh, as usual, put a link in the description below uh, looks really small um, seems to have a little reset button here in the front and uh, power for the back let's see what we got for cords so you'd have the USB-C to USB uh, plug in there and then of course you want to do USB-C to USB-C there should be really easy to uh, put together for that again the US Air Pro on that and then our MagSafe charger from Apple um, did have this open a little bit so We'll get this out here. While I'm doing this, I'd also like to give a little shout out to my boys for getting me this uh, headband uh, 
holder for the GoPro for Father's Day. Appreciate it, boys. Um, here we go. So this uh, all looks pretty easy. USB-C, so for our cigarette charger that's uh, 20 watts, need at least 15 for that. Should be ready to go. So let's uh, get this stuff uh, uh, off this table and into the car. All right, guys, into the car. So if you watched the other video, you probably know this by now, but we're gonna go ahead and take these off so we can unscrew uh, the stereo to bring it out a little bit. It comes out the whole, whole piece here. Uh, so we can unplug this little box here. All right, let's get to it. I'll probably put this on time-lapse so you know, guys don't have to watch me mess with it, but uh, here goes. Philip at the top, T20 at the bottom. So again, these just pull off. Okay guys, I re-ran the box around to here to the bottom. I'm gonna tuck it underneath here. Also got this ran up to the top. You can see I got the wire here. I'm gonna patch into the actual cigarette lighter. Uh, ground power, ground power. So I'll tap into that right there. So we've got that. As you can see, it is fused. So that's a little extra precaution there. All this will, will kind of tuck in underneath here. Um, behind this uh, carpet piece that goes in, a carpet trim piece. Um, so then I'll have this back underneath here too and plug into this box. And then this will then plug into here. Um, when we get the mag safe in there, uh, this will come around, plug into the little adapter here, and I'll kind of stuff that a little bit in here so, um, so we can see that. You can see underneath here, um, there's a lot of space in here and if anybody happens to know what this plug is for um, I'm assuming it's an option I don't have on my 911 um, let me know make a comment down below but I'll uh, go ahead and put you guys back up on the stand and we'll get to this all right guys one of the things I wanted to show you is just how easy this MagSafe charger goes in here so you kind of feed the wire through here just kind of let her come right through straight up make sure it goes through the little hole there and you just kind of slide her in pops right in so I think we're good to go here I'm gonna go ahead and feed the wire through and uh, mount the shelf and then we'll start working on all the wiring down here on this just to make sure I'm right yeah there we go negative positive at least I hope the red isn't negative all right guys I have two different types of wire taps here I have this kind that you can kind of snap on and then you plug the other wire into it Oops, the wrong way into it like that but I think that's gonna be too wide so I'm gonna go with these ones I think they'll be a little bit a uh, little more I don't know be able to get in and out of the holes a little bit better uh, if you need to do anything. So we're going to go with these. Alright, um, 
What I'll do now is I'm gonna go under here, button all this up, tie wrap it, um, make it nice and pretty so it's not jumping all around, and then I'll take you guys down and show you. Okay guys, we got it all hooked up. Let's come under here and I'll show you how we tied everything off. So under here, right here, I've got the uh, power cord for the charger and the uh, cigarette adapter all tied off here so it's nice and tight. Also for the uh, auto aught cast, uh, I do have that tie wrapped here so it's nice and tight so it's not gonna move around. Have her box up here, it's kind of wedged underneath there. So all set, all good to go. Let's go back up top and get this puppy working. All right, y'all, back up front. Let's give this a whirl. So we turn on the ignition. We'll go into our settings. You can see the hot cast is already up there, or the auto cast. Let's go into Bluetooth. Go down to the bottom. We can already see our auto 5088 is showing. Click on that. We will pair it. Yes, we will allow to sync our favorites. And yes, we want to use Apple CarPlay. Take a hot second here. Bam, there we go. Apple CarPlay, wireless, no wire. Now let's double check our charger, make sure that's working. Bam, charger came up as well. All right guys, I think that's it. Let's put this back together and uh, we'll close this out. Hey y'all, thanks for hanging with me this afternoon as we work to put in this wireless CarPlay and wireless charger. Uh, I think it went beautifully. I love the way it turned out. Uh, huge shout out to Audubon Engineering for that A1 shelf. I would definitely suggest going out and grabbing one of those. Again, I'll put a link down below for that, as well as all the other equipment that we use today. So with that team, thank you all for tuning in. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.